This podcast discusses cannabis and is intended for audiences 21 and over. Are you ready for the full list? We're excited to share the High Guide to Strains, here to help you take the worry out of weed. Welcome to Saturday Strains, brought to you by The High Guide. I'm your host, April Pride, and I've been super excited to be your high guide as we moved through the 12 essential cannabis strains that every woman should have in her stash. We guided you from less intoxicating strains that are nearly all CBD to strains with increasingly higher THC levels. We shared weed hacks, and our goal was to inspire you to find two or three strains that can be your go-tos. Hopefully you also listened to our three short Strains Explained episodes to give you a foundation to start from. Now, as we like to do at How to Do the Pot, we want to make it easy for you to get what you want. In this episode, we'll quickly review all 12 strains and give you some behind the scenes on why we chose them. You can always go back and listen to the five-minute episodes where we answer these five questions about each strain. Number one, what does it help with? Does it help with pain, stress, anxiety, sleep? Number two, how high will I get? What are the CBD and THC levels and what does that mean for my high? Number three, how will it make me feel? What are its effects? Does it make me want to giggle, relax, or does it make me want to, you know? Number four, what will it inspire? Is it ideal to go on a hike, to clean your garage, or to do anything but watch yet another movie? Number five, why do women love it? All we've had to go by when it came to choosing the right strain were anecdotal stories from the brave few who were willing to share their experience. We shared lots of great stories from women who we lovingly and respectfully call high guides. There are thousands of strains, and a lot of them have funny names. I'm going to quickly run through all 12 of our picks so they're fresh in your mind. ACDC, perfect for every woman. Harlequin, a little bit high and super popular. Cinex, fits like a glass slipper. XJ13 is in fact the giggly pot. Blackberry Kush is a period pain fighter. Bubblegum, America's Next Favorite Strain, Headband, Long Lasting Playtime, Durban Poison, The Espresso of Cannabis, OG Kush, Super Stress and Sleep Aid, Strawberry Cough, The Ultimate Mental Health Strain, Sour Diesel, Smoke Your Sunshine, and Girl Scout Cookies, or GSC, The Sexy Cookie Strain. And we have a really special treat today. The lucky 13 in our list of essential strains, this leafly strain of the year for 2020. It's called Runts, and it's a derivative of GSC, or cookies, made by Crossing Skittles with gelato. I'm going to run through five reasons Runts should be your New Year's Eve strain. Number one, what does it help with? Stress and anxiety. Bye-bye, 2020. Number two, how high will I get? You will get very high, and your high will be very long-lasting. Number three, how will it make me feel? A runs high starts with euphoria in your head, and within a half an hour, you'll find the head high has settled into your body, leaving your head clear. Number four, what will it inspire? Long conversations, short on small talk. Number five, why do women love it? Why do women love rainbow-colored weed that smells like candy and gets you high AF? Because it was just one of those years. First up, when we started on the Saturday Strain series, we thought a lot about how to categorize these strains. Here's a little behind the scenes of how we chose the Special Dozen. First, we started with why do women turn to weed and settled on these categories? To reduce anxiety and stress, to sleep better, fight pain, channel creativity, enjoy sex more, to enjoy more sex, or is it the other way around? Motivate to do that thing, finally. Again, better, with a smile this time. And of course, the best for last, to get social and party with our friends and the other souls anxious to ring in the age of Aquarius right. Oh wait, that's just what I'm dreaming of doing (laughs) with at least three of these strains and runs. So to cover these outcomes high level, we needed CBD strains, calming strains, energizing strains, and pain strains. Our high guide to strains also needed to offer a range of intoxication, from non-intoxicating to mild to strong. From there, we did a lot of homework, talked to a lot of experts, and chose strains that we think most of you will be able to find and that you will definitely like a lot. 
So let's run down the list, starting with CBD strains. ACDC and Harlequin. ACDC, nearly all CBD, not intoxicating. And a great alternative strain is Sour Tsunami. Harlequin is a two to one strain offering mild intoxication and just about every type of person's favorite strain to quote, lightly chill. Alternative strains for Harlequin, try Aliens on Moonshine and Lemon Garlic. The remaining strains are paired by shared effect of energizing or calming. And the reason that they're paired is because one is going to offer a moderate high and the other is going to get you real high, right? So we'll start with energizing strains. And remember, there's a big range between the Amchi feel after green tea versus Red Bull. Cinex and Headband, both energizing and they can both cause anxiety. If you get anxious just thinking about caffeine, <laughs> then you should probably try the next strains we're gonna go over. So show caution with these strains. The dominant terpene is limonene. You can listen to the episodes to learn more about that. Cinex offers a moderate high and a great alternative strain is lemon OG. Headband offers a strong high. It will get you real high. And a great alternative strain is Sunday Driver. That's a favorite of a lot of our listeners. For those who need alternative energizing strains, XJ13 and Durban Poison are energizing without the edge. XJ13, also known as the Giggly Pot, offers a moderate high and a great alternative strain is Jack Hare. Durban Poison, the espresso of cannabis, will get you real high. And a great alternative strain is Dutch Treat. Okay, the pain strains, Blackberry Kush and OG Kush. For knockout night of sleep, and to knock out pain, like migraines, period pain, including pain associated with endometriosis. Another word for knockout is couch lock. <laughs> Blackberry Kush offers a moderate high. Chocolope is a great alternative strain. It is definitely a favorite among many people I know. OG Kush is a strong high, and you can try Afghan skunk as an alternative strain. And just as with energizing strains, there's a big range calming strains there are as well, right? Sometimes you want to relax and other times you just want to go to sleep already. <laughs> so the remaining of these strains will help you relax to varying degrees. Bubble gum and strawberry cough. Calm, clear mind to approach tasks with ease and both happen to be two of the best tasting strains. Bubble gum offers a moderate high and Maui Waui is a great alternative strain. Strawberry cough, get you real high, and green crack, don't be scared, is an alternative strain to strawberry cough. Sour Diesel and Girl Scout Cookies, or GSC. Smoke your sunshine. Both of these strains are used for improving your mood and your pain. Sour D being a favorite for migraines. Cookies is a high THC favorite that steadies your mind and settles your body for just about anything, but especially for sex. Sour Diesel offers a moderate high, and Sour Patch Kids are a great alternative strain, GSC, Strong High, and Try Cookie Dough for an alternative strain. We hope you've enjoyed our Saturday Strain series. Please share it with a friend. We would be so grateful if you would also rate and review us on Apple Podcasts. It really helps more people find our show. And stay tuned in 2021 for lots more of How to Do the Pot. And a special thanks to Low Friesen, founder, CEO, and chief extraction officer of Seattle's beloved cannabis brand, Halo, for vetting our strain selects. We'd also like to thank David Downs of Leafly, Jeffrey C. Raber, PhD, and Colin Montgomery of The Workshop, as well as Nick Jacones, PhD, of Leafly for schooling us on strains. Thanks to my co-founder, Ellen Scanlon, Maddie Fair, our marketing manager, and our producer, Nick Patry. I'm April Pride. And we'll be back soon with more of how to do the pot.